Hi all, the Pocky Yorker here. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing a vlog about the mandatory work placements that the government has going at the moment. Now, the mandatory work placement thing is stupid. I'm going to say that off the cusp. The idea of it is complete idiocy. Basically, they're making you do 120 hours of community service. Now, last time I checked, I could walk into a shop, put a knife to the bloke's throat, and get 120 hours of community service. And then I'd get money for it. Um, but, yeah, as such is life. Um, but, yeah, the way that I see it is basically like doing a community service. Which, as you can imagine, is a thing for criminals, not people who were made redundant. Now I got a text Friday before last saying, look, you need to go to such and such a place at such and such a time on such and such a date. Which I went to such and such a place um, before the date and said to them, look, I can't make the appointment because I'm signing on. So this is a chance we can pull the interview forward. And it was really nice and they said to me, yep, yeah, no problem, nine o'clock. Um, that morning instead of later on in the day which means I'm not running around like a blue ass fly one of the things I did turn around and ask him was what I was meant to be doing now I should point out at this point on my job seekers agreement thing it says no heavy lifting and it says I'm looking for admin retail and sales work okay I asked him what I was doing and he said groundsman work Obviously, I politely told him he has no chance whatsoever. Um, and when I go into the job centre next to sign on, I'm going to go absolutely mental with them, as you can understand. But, yeah, the idea of the mandatory work assignment thing is you're supposed to be getting skills that'll, get you, that'll help you find a job. Pulling weeds up does not help you find a job. Just putting this out there... There was a thing in the news a few weeks ago about this girl who had completed an arts degree. Um, she was signing on the door. She was doing volunteering, which is fair enough, while she found herself a job. And the government put her on a mandatory work assignment thing. Now, I'm not so bothered because they've put me on with a charity. They put her on cleaning floors in Poundland. What? The fuck, David Cameron. The other thing is travel costs um, and living costs. See, the government don't seem to understand that if you live somewhere, you tend to have to buy food and pay the bills. And when they factor in travel costs for going to these stupid mandatory work assignment places, it starts getting a little bit tight. Um, I'll be honest, at the moment, I'm clutching at straws money-wise. That doesn't mean I'm after sympathy, it's just stating a fact. And the government are basically saying, right, you've got to go out to this place um, five times a week, which is a tenner extra on bus fare per week. It's not so bad for me because I bike everywhere. I mention it all the time, I bike everywhere. Granted, I've got to go and do some repairs on my other bike before I can go and start this mandatory work thing, but um, other people, it's it's just stupid. Um, I know one lad is dipping into his savings and he's losing money because of this stupid mandatory work placement thing. Anyway, obviously I have a strong and opinionated view on it. Tell me what you think about the scheme in the comments. Now don't worry, I am still going to summer in the city. Obviously I am a little bit annoyed. Um, that they've sprung this on us. Otherwise, otherwise I would have spent 50 quid on a ticket to London for nothing. But yeah, I will definitely be seeing you somewhere in the city. Um, as I said, post your opinions in the comments and I'll make sure to check them out. So there.